This is apparently a trip report. He doesn't have duration or expertise, and he's not like Paul or Jeb, who can do this with ease. And now it's apparently too late to afford, so it's apparently a trip report. Do you remember that time that we took the sleeper car from Montreal to Quebec City for fun? I do. Now we're taking the sleeper car from Montreal to Halifax for fun. Yeah. We're gonna be in the British room this time. Oh. Are you telling me that both of the escalier mechaniques are, are, are redded? What is it? There's our special lounge. There's a whole free Apple. Free charging station, free new age music, free Wi-Fi that you're now connect, connecting to. Mm -hmm. This lounge is for business and sleeper passengers, which we are the latter. Ukraine. <laughs> nice. Good job. Good job. Now it's time for a bathroom review. Woo. Toilet. But then it's an exclusive toilet. It's just private. I mean, it's very nice. Although, someone forgot to put the seat down, so shame on you. Interestingly, the water specifically comes from this faucet. It says filtered water, so I assume we're meant to use it. There's also a coffee maker, and then here are the other drinks. So, well, as a ton more apples. So we did this check-in process where we had to get in line to make our dinner reservations. Thankfully, the line was not nearly as long this time as it was last time, probably because it was the winter instead of the summer. And unfortunately, we didn't get wristbands. I'm not really sure why, but... Uh, it was also at this point that we got news from home that Alina's pet gecko had to be put down at the vet. So things were a little sad as we boarded the train and left. Uh, but Alina said that she wanted the show to go on, so the show goes on. We're leaving St. Lambert, Lambert. Yeah, yeah, one of your commenters said it was, it was not in love. It was Lambert. Oh, okay. I'm learning. See, okay. I comments. <laughs> Careful with the night. We got our rolls. They're burning hot. Yeah. The rolls always the best part of these train dinners. Right behind Alina is are these beautiful drawings, picture photographs of marine life in Canada. <laughs> which I'm very I'm very excited about. It's so it's so vibey. It's amazing. This car is like half empty. Clearly no one takes this in the winter. So and we're not sitting with anyone, so we can be diegetic. Menu shot, menu shot. Right now you're looking at the menu shot. I ordered the sandwich, which was green. Right. It's recommended to be the Title Bay blend. Yes. You also think that the wine's gotten more expensive since last time. So here's the thing. I really thought this price was ten Canadian dollars. The last yeah. Time we did this. So luckily we have it on video. Yeah, we'll check. There was a wine list. It's ten Canadian dollars for a thing of wine. Also, I love how the water comes with ice, and it's nice crunchy ice. So that's fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> I actually think you made the right decision to get the soup because this this caprese is like there's no green. I guess I must use like this little fork for this, right? This is so fancy. It's metal. I mean, it's weird. It's weird caprese. I don't know why they did it this way. Oh. Yay! How's the soup? I love the soup. You love the soup. Back. I also maybe reiterate this for the camera. Um, <laughs> last time we were on here and I got the soup. I had never had tomato soup before, so I never thought I'd like it because it looks kind of gross to me. Yeah. Um, and this was so good. I now eat tomato soup. <laughs> it's amazing. It's also worth noting that Via Rail changes the menus constantly. So like, there's different entrees this time than mm. than last time we were on it. I just think the ocean logo is cool. The A is tracks. We just arrived at St. Hyacinth two minutes early. I mean, I think it's great, great sign, and I think that will never change. I mean, okay, look, I would actually like us to be late because then we get more time in the in the, in the room. Right. So that means we'll probably arrive in Halifax like 18 minutes early. Yeah, I, I probably would have gotten the salmon, but I diversified and got the beef, which actually does look very good. I'm gonna try the beef. You're done with this? Okay. The banger or wanger? This is actually a banger. Yeah. This is better than your salmon, I think, that I tried. Wait, you wanna try wait. one? I like to do the zoom. Where's the zoom? Yeah, there you go. Banger! Do you wanna try it? Not a wanger. Do you wanna try it? Yeah, yeah, I'll try it. <laughs> <laughs> I smell 
really good. Alina's dessert has arrived. I didn't take any for obvious reasons. <laughs> you did your little like snake in the headlights thing, or oh, deer. Snake deer. In the this is the service car, aka the Wi-Fi car, which has some good. 90s decor, some good 90s incandescent light fixtures. It's like your robot. <laughs> you gotta send me that picture now. We have these big red seats, lots of mirrors, an infinite mirror. Also, there may have been entertainment at some point, but that time was long ago. Ooh. I mean, that is, is that like food? Yeah. yeah, I think some of the food. On the Canadian, which is the one that goes across the country, they like cook the food on the premises, but on this it's like catered, so it's all... Frozen or reheated. I don't know. Oh, you can push it hard. Oh, okay. Can I try again this time? Yeah, go in front. Okay. Here's what a room hallway looks like. We have to go like three more cars down to get to ours. <laughs> ah. Oh, look at the Bay of Fundy. They, each car is named after like a maritime thing and they always have cool pictures. Okay, so we have this like 90s room key. <laughs> Come on in. You're gonna show the table first? I didn't know oh, this. okay. No, this it's is. not really good for two people. It's good for one person. Yeah, these hangers are so bizarre. I don't understand. <laughs> so I was snooping around. Okay. What is? Oh. The closet. Oh, that okay. That's a good spot for our coats. And then. Oh, what is that cup for? Hold? I don't know what that's for, but this looks like a cup holder. Yeah. This is just two like, outlets, which is nice. It's better than Amtrak. This is just shelves. It's nothing like shelves. Okay, but that's like nice. Yeah. A waste basket. Oh wait, we got a we got a, the vineyards. Oh yeah, so that's our train car. Oh. So I guess everyone gets a different vineyards painting. I don't know. I wish we had Bay of Fundies. We get like a fundy. We get our route guides. We oh. get in both English and French. We get this table that I think probably comes up. I don't want to like disturb the things on it, but yeah, yeah, it comes up. Cups, free Quebec water. Two dark Two chocolates. chocolates. Those are yours, as long as they're um, seventy-eight percent cho dark or lower. <laughs> I'm ignoring that statement. Uh, if we need to call our assistant, pow. Are these the lights? I think so. Oh, okay, that's, that's that. like a random light. It'll be the night night that's light, I guess. That one. Okay. It's another random one. There's the big one. That's and then temperature in Celsius, so wow. it's set to max. Oh, it like clicks, it clicks, it but we'll keep it at max because it's winter. Do there people? Oh. <laughs> Can I get it to focus? Probably not. It doesn't really work, <laughs> actually. <laughs> it kind of works. All right, what's the piece de resistance? And bearing in mind, this is one of the shower rooms. Only we half also, the rooms have showers, but I'm every not, room has an ensuite. We have not seen this yet. Yeah. Well, it's time for a bathroom oh, review. Okay. Oh, we get like bags for our showers. Okay, so toilet, oh. toilet paper. Wait. What is that? You stupid idiot, how could you not know what that is? My brain's saying it's a hair dryer. It's the <laughs> oh, an attached cool. hair dryer. We got a towel. Please tell me we got Via Rail soap. <gasps> this one has shampoo. Does the other yes. one have like body wash? Yes, yes, shampoo. Well, no, I guess this is the body wash. Orga Organique. We get a bar of soap. Maybe that's what oh, you're supposed to yeah. use. Oh, yeah, so this comes a... with shampoo and a bar of soap. And a bar of soap. soap, okay. I don't understand why only half the bathrooms have showers when it doesn't... I don't think it affects the size of the bathroom. So there's a socket behind the mirror. Is this like Do a bathroom? want to test the flush out? It's going to be a train toilet. It's going to take a while. Oh, it says lower lip before flushing. Oh, germs. Where's the light for this bathroom? That's a good question. Is it just always on? Just always on. Yeah. Oh. Toronto. Don't go back, so it's French first. Oh, it's the, uh, the next. That's what I thought. Yeah, the 845. Final call. Thank you and enjoy your meal. Thank you and enjoy your meal. So what, how would you say this room compares to the 50s one we had last So night? here's the thing, I feel bad. Miles is like, oh, so you actually hate the room and think it's too tiny? Which is not what I said. I uh -huh. said I was not expect. I thought it was gonna be the same size as the other one. And he's like, well, I said I was British. And I was like, how is that <laughs> supposed to remotely clue, remotely clue me in on the size? Um, I mean, yeah, it's, it's 
I'm not complaining. These were originally made for the channel between London and Paris. They were gonna run sleeper trains through it. Wait, um, how long is the channel? Like 20 minutes. <laughs> Keep forgetting to push. <laughs> I thought a sleeper train through would have been weird. It's like a three hour trip from London to Paris. That's silly. I mean, that's why they didn't go through with it. And then Via Rail bought them and runs them exclusively on, oh, we're at a station because there's people walking. Um, runs them exclusively on this, the, the ocean. Also, I paid a lot of Canadian dollars for this. And I can't remember how many, but I'll put it on screen. So, this is a tax write-off, baby. <laughs> I got an email slightly before the trip uh, saying that the rooms would be adjusted so that we'd face the ocean, <laughs> which translates places. to uh, we, we are going backwards. So if you're gonna do this trip and you wanna face forwards, you gotta go westbound. They used to turn the train around Oh, and when they did that, they had a freaking like observation car in the back that was really cool. But then they lost the rights to use that track in Halifax, so now they don't. And there was no observation car anymore. Okay, while we're talking about Paul Lucas's fantastic ocean video, note that he was in the Vineyards car, room six, the exact same room that we stayed in. That's just a weird coincidence, isn't it? The attendant came in and put the top bunk down. You gotta, oop. Yeah, you gotta like take, the ladder's just detached. It's just a oh. thing, which is nuts. This isn't gonna work one-handed on my part. The damn camera, <laughs> Dad. Okay. Can you get up there in a stately fashion? These are very close together rungs. That's good. <laughs> I like how this is here by default because on Amtrak you have to set up like a net to save you if you fall. <laughs> you like stab yourself in. Look, you have a little table up there. And then you have a nightlight. And then the downstairs has a nightlight too. <laughs> we haven't set up the downstairs yet. It's comfortable. That's great. The pillow is very comfortable. We're not going to bed yet. Well, no. We have to get out at the smoke stop. As we have to well. utilize the smoke stop. Yes, we really do. No, it's so out of focus. We're crossing the bridge into Saint Foy. Wow, look how cool that looks. Well, it looks beautiful from here, but. Wait, is that ice? I think so. Mm. My camera just won't let it happen. All right, so the train is so long, but Saint Foy has two stops. I think all of them do. Yeah. And she said that we're, we don't get a fresh air break till the second stop, unless we want to walk all the way up. So every Via Rail train, one person per car, has to be instructed as to like how to open the emergency exit. And I guess I technically got designated as that person. Yeah. I learned at the start of the trip from the uh, sleeper attendant that you have to lift that up and then you push the door out. I'm technically reading this, whatever. And then you slide it open, I swear I remember. And then there's like a ladder that you have to climb down and then I have to help people get out. <laughs> so if we, get, if we die. Emergency yeah, is our responsibility. Yeah, we have to save people stops right now but I would like to sing a song to maybe try to get us going. Yeah. The wheels on the bus go round and round. <laughs> they really had attention to detail in the 90s. Look how even the ladder rungs have a weird moquette on them. Ladder ASMR. All right, here we are. Get the room key, get the bu what are they called again? Ving. Ving card. Uh, she's headed her way up to speed. You remember this building? <laughs> How can I forget? <laughs> <laughs> they still have the shuttle program on the website. That was like one of the most confusing instances of being gaslit. <laughs> the shuttle's still there, even though. And I can still do it to you to this day. Thank you. You're welcome. Thanks for the fresh air. <laughs> uh, fresh is <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My leg's feel invigorated. There you go. It's worth it. Oh, this magnet. Oh, okay. Well, it kind of works because it's like cold air, which like always feels fresher. So because saint Foy is a deviation... Uh, oh, we're like actually... We're, the train is moving backwards. That means we are moving forward. So we, we have to cherish this. This is the, the one time on the trip we'll get to move forwards. <laughs> Copyright. We can't play Honey by Marine Girls. An amazing song. <laughs> <laughs> you oh, you push it up? Oh, okay. Okay. Can't do anything on his own. I, sorry, I'm just because I'm trying to document it for oh, the friendly viewers. 
Hmm? Why does this one have like, oh, it's got a pouch. Oh, that's nice. Lena volunteered to sleep on the upper bunk, which I'm very grateful for. I sleep in a loft bed like, at home. You do, which is nut behavior. Yeah. Are we about to sleep as we leave San Fuat? And so tomorrow we'll wake up it is in New Brunswick. A different time zone. Yeah, Atlantic time. So, this is so exciting. The only train that goes Atlantic time. So breakfast, they said, starts at what, 7? Seven, seven, seven. So 7? And goes until 9. So well, will we get Alina up by 8 a.m.? That's the question. Well, it's 11. We're going to bed, so I think yeah. so. Yeah, so I'm going to turn the light off, and then I'll play the SpongeBob clip that's like the next day. Okay? Okay. No, no, no. No. This one? No. Are you stupid? <laughs> Why? It's up. <laughs> the next day. Okay, worth noting that these blinds do not help. <laughs> Where are we passing? I don't know. There's so many lights and they just light up the entire room. It's like a million lighthouses at once. That's good to know that that's a thing. The blinds are weak, so maybe you should bring a Manta sleep mask. <laughs> you didn't bring yours, did you? Of course I did. I don't know if this video will be sponsored by that. I didn't but... bring mine. Oh god. That was the worst piece of product placement I've ever seen. I'll bet the video is sponsored by Manta Sleep Masks, isn't it? I'll bet these things are really helpful for sleeping at night or on a moving vehicle, I'll bet. Aren't they? And I'll bet there's some special code you can Poor use to bed. get 10% off your order. Isn't there? Real subtle, man. Take it 62 out of that was a good review from Poor Bed. The next day. I think this might be the Campbellton smoke break, but there was no signage or announcements, so I don't know. But it looks nice, you know? We were complaining about the seats going backwards. But waking up to this was pretty amazing. Our ocean Yellow car. I don't know what body of water it is. I don't think it's the ocean. But it's something. It's really nice. <laughs> Stop, Barrett! It's New Brunswick. It's bilingual. Oh, How did you sleep? I actually slept really well. That's amazing. I feel like I look very tired, but that's because I was like dead asleep when that alarm went off. My problem with being in sleeper cars on trains is that I get so excited by the fact that I'm in a sleeper car on a train that I end up not sleeping very well. I don't know if it was like the lulling, but I was like, I was, yeah, I was, I was out. No, I mean, don't get me wrong. It was amazing. The blanket is also very comfortable. It was very warm. It was very was hot. warm. Do you have the key? Yeah, I have the key. It'd be funny if I realized I didn't. We got a uh, one-seater this time at breakfast. Have you looked at the menu? You've looked at the menu already. I haven't seen the- Menu shot, menu shot. Right now you're looking at the menu shot. Okay, so you got- Batana, Don Air. Batana Air, which is very uh, Nova Scotia, very Halifax. And then I got oatmeal, which apparently is this. I didn't know that oatmeal could be served in hard form. Breakfast is a hard meal for me. Alina's meal came with toast, and she very graciously gave me a couple pieces. And this is amazing. I mean, toast. I'm all for toast. Oh, whoa, I was just randomly filming. Oh, okay, that doesn't count as wildlife per se, but I think that's pretty darn good. I'm hoping to find wildlife at some point. Yeah. How's your dinner sauce? It's really good. It's very, I don't know what it is, but it's very sweet. There's some cows. This is, the combo of sun and snow is just so beautiful. Coming around taking lunch reservations, we took the later lunch at 1.30. So this is not a real sausage. This is a plant-based sausage. Wait, really? Yeah, that's why I'm nervous. It's edible. Upside down, huh? Yep. <laughs> no. The bay has gotten so wide. Oh yeah, we looked it up. It's a bay. I just love that like one house. It's so Nordic looking. This is insane. I love the sheets of ice. I feel like, I don't know if winter is the time to do this train, but it is a time to do this train. Also for anyone who needs this information, the bed I would say is wide enough for two people to take a nap, but I wouldn't recommend doing it all night. No. We're leaving 
Big Boy Station, probably Bathurst. Interestingly, because the line goes in a big crescent around Maine, we're now further south, so the snow is kind of starting to wear off. All right, here's the river crossing over the Miramichi River, I think. Lena is just totally missing it. Just can't see anything. Yay! Whoa, there's a second river crossing. It's pretty similar to the first one, but that means it's just as pretty. We've actually stopped on the bridge. We can admire the truss work. I'm not really sure why we're stopped. There's some birds. Bird watching. Whoa! Whoa! Bye. Fibers, we're leaving. We successfully put the bed up. I only bulked my head once. I guess I can't speak for the woods between Bathurst and Miramichi because we were both asleep, but like, oh, that's awesome. Okay, so I'm about to take a shower. We've taken the towels out of there. The problem is that it's gonna get cold water all over me when I start it. Yeah, there's no way to avoid it. Push and turn. I just don't even know where it's gonna come out of. Oh, that's weird. All right, well, I guess I'll pass the camera back out to Alina and then report after. Five minutes later. Miles goes to fix his, his, no, no come over here, because it's like a little messy over here. And he pulls this out? Okay, look. <laughs> no, why do you live like this? I lost the handle. <laughs> Just buy a new one. Okay, I noticed one at the convenience store in Montreal, but it was like one of those stupid ones where you have to ask the attendant to get it. Oh. From. I can't do that in French. Maybe in <laughs> Halifax. Okay, guidelines for the shower. It comes out kind of This is for weirdly. me because I'm in the shower. Yeah, um, but I have it set so that it's coming out at like a fairly normal angle. Okay. It stops running every like minute, so you have to push it again and make it keep going. Which is why I was so quick. Yeah, that was like, like two minutes. Yeah, it just, it, it kind of encourages you not to spend that much time in there. Also, the train was like at an angle for a good amount of it and the water was like sloshing up close to the door. I was really worried it would leave, but then eventually it did drain out. Yeah, good luck. Now that is a fun bet. We're at... If you spin it all the way counterclockwise, it'll be at the max hot, which is what I had it at. Oh, then maybe just... Maybe you gotta go a couple times or something. I wonder if we have a stop on this one. It's good? Okay. I don't know if you can tell, but all these businesses and like government buildings have the New Brunswick flag flying, which you gotta tell me, banger or wanger? Monument assumption. I've been seeing a lot of French in this particular town. I feel like New Brunswick is just a toss up of whether you'll get primarily English or French. I guess there's a stop here. I don't know what town this is, but we're here. Oh, this person does not want to wait for us. They're giving up. Goodbye. Looking up a bit, it says that Miramichi is unique for being primarily English speaking. So I guess most of the communities along this shore of uh, New Brunswick are, are uh, French. Oh, there's the station building. That's beautiful. All right, how was your shower? Actually very it's not a minute of water. It is 30 seconds of water. Okay. Um, I was like, oh, it's over now. He lied. The only thing is now our bathroom floor is soaking wet. Yeah. And so we can't go in there. <laughs> we can. We just have to get our feet wet. And we're both wearing socks. Also, we finally figured out a use for these things. So that's good. Oh, I also really like the soap they give you. Yeah. Like hand slash body soap. I think it smells very nice. It is time for lunch, which is our final meal on the train. Why? Look, it's, it's still wet. Oh, I see. Yeah, Lena's trying to air out the bathroom by leaving the door open. You know what's sad about like this, you know, lounge car? On Amtrak, this is like the social place to be, but here it's because it's the only car with Wi-Fi. I always feel anti-social when I'm here because it's on my yeah. phone. Menu shot. Menu shot. Right now you're looking at the menu shot. So. We got seated with people at lunch, so it's not diegetic. We're going over it. Yeah, they were very, very nice. They were. It was a nice old couple who was very well traveled. Yeah, they said they've been on this several times, and yeah. Canadian several times. The lunch menu was weird. Kind of a lot of a lot of wangers, not bangers here. <laughs> um, I mean, the soup was clam chowder, the soup du jour. I don't like clam chowder, but Miles actually does. Yeah, because I'm from Boston. It's in your blood. Then you yeah. got... Like scallop potatoes and bacon. Oh, right. They had a special word for the it, only but it was scallop was potatoes and bacon. It was the only one of the three menu And it was like bacon bits, yeah. um, and then a salad. I got the pumpkin 
chickpea. Chickpea. You got like the vegetarian. It was fine. Oh yeah, how was it? I didn't I, it was fine. I, it was, Mine was really yeah. good actually. That was good. And then dessert was dessert a was a carrot cake. Like the one dessert I like. Oh, it had caramel on top, which I am not a big fan of caramel. Cool so it was all too bridge much alert! Oh, it's it's oh. no no bridge alert. I am happy that I had all three courses. That's true. Even if I nothing had was like amazing, but I actually really like the carrot cake. Yeah, all three courses is a real like rarity for you. I know. We also stopped in Moncton, which is a big city. Yeah, as for the announcer <laughs> said, the bustling metropolis uh, of Moncton. <laughs> yeah, it might, might be pushing it, but uh, and then there was just some beautiful like marsh scenery. We're, we're, we're basically seeing it still now, but like I, I didn't know it'd be this scenic. But I've Did been enjoying the ride so the, much. The guy had a shirt that said Canadian marshlands with a moose. Oh, on it. that's fitting. Are we in Nova Scotia yet? I don't know. Visit Amherst. Okay, that's a Nova Scotia city, so I think we are. We Maybe may well cross the border at some point. Victorian Motel. And then what do you say? New you Brunswick. Like Alright, well then yeah, there you go. Yeah, we made it. Yeah. What I love about this scenery is that it, there's a lot of like kind of rural bits, but it's often very populated. You get these towns that have just been here for, you know, at least a couple hundred years. I just that maybe it's the New Englander in, inside of me, but I really enjoy that type like of thing. New England and Canada. Downtown Amherst is at a gridlock because of us. But now we're leaving, so it's fine. Here's the building. All these buildings are very nice. Bambino's Pizza. So Alina likes to collect playing cards. Mm -hmm. And on this trip, she brought dog lovers so each card is a different dog anyway here's our tier list we made a tier list out of the dogs um and i like so we like to practice s a b c e d by saying uh, e or f, f or whatever f. that all dogs are good mm -hmm. all dogs are 10 out of 10 mm -hmm. but some dogs are better yeah we're also not going to explain any of our rationale because that way you'll all be more annoying in the comments exactly and you all, so I'll tell you. It's a balanced tier list. It's a pretty balanced tier list. I'll tell you that Miles' favorite dog is an S tier, and you guys get the fun of guessing. Of having to guess? My dog well, is also, also in the S tier. Yeah, but... which one is that? Well, we go, no, I'll put up yours because it, it'll be a fun picture. <laughs> <laughs> that picture you got of it? Yeah. I'm making us explore the train. So we have the four sleeper cars first. Okay, and then here's the lounge car. Here's the dining car. And here's the coach salon car, which doubles as the cafe car. Menu shot, menu shot. Right now you're looking at the menu shot. All right, here's the coach car. Wait, there's only one coach car? There's one like British coach car, but it was pretty busy. But then this is the transition car, which goes between um, the British couplers and the uh, American couplers. We have all the different flags. There's Quebec, Nova Scotia. It's pretty boring. I like the Scotland element. But I like the interpolation. Yeah, the Acadia flag. But it's pretty boring. I like this one. PEI, it's one of those fun, well, like, one decorative ones. Like that, you know? This looks drawn by a kid. Uh, by the way, the Quebec flag is a banger. The New Brunswick flag, kind of epic. Okay. Newfoundland and Labrador. You want to talk epic. You, epic. you like this one? Are you doing this? I think it's pretty good. Here's the really outdated map where this train doesn't exist, and this connection doesn't exist, and this connection and this connection don't exist, and. Uh, this train doesn't exist. And also this train doesn't really exist. It's operated by someone else now. I think it still uses via rail equipment. And then the Canada flag, which is a banger. And these are the bud coaches. It's out of the 50s ones, which are really comfortable. I love these seats. I mean, actually, it's free, so you can sit for a second. They're just so nice. And they recline way, way back. Look how far back it reclines. There's a big footrest. There's an outlet. There's a tray table. Wait, this has flippy uppies? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh my god. Wait, that's more comfortable than Amtrak, I feel like. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> he sounds so enthusiastic. I will say that like coach on this train is really important because this is the only public transit link between Quebec and the Maritime Provinces. There's literally no bus that connects between them like you oh, wow. have to take the train i do wonder if people would be mad that we didn't do it in coach 
But are you mad that we didn't do it in coach? Well, I'm personally mad. <laughs> One of the cars has those like red plants as its thing. Oh. So it must be some maritime thing too. Does anyone know? Uh, I don't know? We're just in the mountain ass mountains right now. We don't understand how this happened. Is this the Appalachian Mountains, I think? It could be. Look at that lake house. So, like, wow, there's so a many snow. lake houses. I missed them, but I gotta at least say that we just passed some cranberry bogs. Oh, ducky. The leaving Truro, which as far as I can tell is just an industrial building, at least the station. Truro is the easternmost train station in North America. See, because Halifax is western. Right. That is a fun exactly. No, no, now the foot people will get you. It's amazing how even when we're in the woods, there's lots of bodies of water. And there's a nice, uh, that's a big house. I feel like we're kind of in the Halifax sphere at this point. There's just been, you know, there's been civilization. So, getting unfortunately close. Ooh, body of water. Man, that is really beautiful. All right, we're starting to get pretty dense here. I see houses up the hill. I see ship masts, which is very Halifax. Ooh, oh, I think there's Halifax. Wait. You see it? <laughs> this is such an amazing approach. Like, oh, bald eagle? I think so. Oh, oh. look at that! Whoa! But this isn't even America. What are you doing? We're winning. Why are you out of focus? Damn We're it! We're winning. Oh. There we go. Ooh, that's a cool shot. Wow. Ooh, that's some really good transception by the water. I gotta say, all complaints about sitting backwards are rescinded. Because yeah. these views have been just amazing. Industrial foamers, this is your moment. Look this at that. cool cranes. I mean, it makes sense. Like, this is like the easternmost port in mainland North America, probably, right? <gasps> We're stopping. Maybe we'll get delayed. We'll be stuck here for like hours. And we get to stay on the... <laughs> <laughs> and they'll feed us the smallest dinner ever. <laughs> I do wonder what the emergency dinner is. That is the most quiet announcement in the world. We got so hyped and then we can't hear it. <laughs> They're saying we're rocking to Halifax. Look at that. Good as new. <laughs> it's kind of a rock formation. We're sort of going like in a cut beneath stuff. Oh, out of focus. Grain elevators, right? That'd be green elevators. Whoa. The platform has begun, so. We should get out? Uh, yeah, sure. Okay. Vlogger. Ah. Also, can I talk about how that was perfectly timed for the daylight to end? Yeah. Like we got here just in time before sunset. You can see how different the British cars are. That's the transition car, and then there's the <laughs> where the American ones start. The big boy, epic American cars. Here we go, there's the foamer shot in the magic hour. A beautiful F40 PH locomotive. Do they have the Newfoundland time? No. Because Newfoundland would be cool because it's off by a half hour, so it'd be. Here's a little Via Rail exhibit. I mean, I like it. I think it's fittingly quaint for the fact that it gets uh, three trains a week. Is it just this train? Yeah. These tracks are for trains, not for playing games. This is nice. I feel like you could use a little. Uh, TLC, yeah. So I have a week in Halifax. I really enjoyed that train ride. I was sad when it ended. Oh yeah. Um, Alina wants me to put it on the tier list, so I guess we'll cut to that now. Okay, so I'm actually gonna do a separate VIA tier list from the Amtrak tier list I've been working on because it's a different system, right? Sleeper was amazing. I mean, the Renaissance room was really nice. Having the ensuite shower was really nice. It's very expensive. <laughs> so um, I think Coach seems very comfortable too. I think Coach would be fine as long as you can handle the cafe food. But, you know, for everyone, the views are just amazing. I'm a sucker for the New England thing. And this is basically that. <laughs> so I, I think I'm actually gonna go S tier which maybe I'll regret as I ride future VIA trains, but like, it was so pretty. And honestly, early March seemed like a good time to ride it. I mean, the, the frozen lakes were incredibly cool and rivers and stuff. I would say going eastbound is better because the unique part is all in daylight, like the New Brunswick and Nova Scotia part. The sleeper food was pretty good. I mean, I'm like a picky eater or whatever, but I, I think I may do I, mostly pretty well. Unfortunately, from a service perspective, it, uh, the train runs three times a week, being the only connection from Quebec to anywhere in Eastern Canada. Like, how can you not go D tier on that? Like, it's 
<laughs> I feel like I forgot something, but whatever. <laughs>